Ariel Lowe Ease 04 says, can you help me with my songs? Yeah, so I was thinking um, one of these videos I was going to do a uh, songwriting tutorial or set of lessons and um, teach you guys, you know, how I write music or show you guys how I write music and uh, maybe we could even do a live YouTube stream or something and do a live lesson and maybe even write a song together. So I'm going to do that for you, Miss Ariel, and I'll let you know when that happens. So stay posted on the Instagram and on YouTube. Okay, so this question is from Chloe Hopper, one, two, three. I hope she's not a bunny, uh, although I love bunnies. And she says, uh, what is one of your secret hobbies? Um, I don't know if you all know this about me, but I love to play golf. <laughs> it sounds like such a wah, wah sport, it's like golf, but it's actually a lot of fun. So they're actually opening uh, a top golf nearby, which is like golf mixed with bowling. And it is awesome, uh, but I like to play golf for real. So get me on the golf course. I usually hit it in the bunker, AKA the sand, AKA the beach or the water, but I will get it in the hole. Uh, no shenanigans or mulligans. And uh, yeah, if y'all play golf and you're in the area, Hit me up and we'll play around. A round of golf, not play around, but like play a round of golf. Brooke06 wants to know my favorite drink. And she put a little wine glass. I don't know if she's referring to the alcohol. Um, you know, it's funny, I, uh, I am of drinking age, um, but, I am, am, but I am allergic to alcohol. So every time I drink it, I get a stuffy nose. And if I want to record or make music or do anything like that, I refrain from drinking any alcohol because, um, you know, I get really stuffed up and I don't like that feeling. And uh, and then sometimes it could mess with your belly, you might get a hangover. So it, it really can be dis distracting from work and I work really hard and I work too hard to, to ruin that. So I'm not a uh, big drinker. Um, I, I will celebrate and have a celebratory uh, beverage, but I think that, um, you know, you don't, you don't have to drink to have fun. Don't feel peer, peer pressure for those of you that are um, younger and, and getting older, uh, you know, that's, this stuff's going to pop up and, um, you know, you don't, you can just have a glass of water or have a Coke, um, or a Sprite or a Hawaiian punch. I don't know what you drink, but, um, but otherwise so my favorite drink to answer it, I love chocolate milk. <laughs> so, uh, anything that tastes like chocolate milk, I love chocolate milk. It's so good. And then, uh, uh, Luby Lubrea, I like that name, Luby Lubrea, she should be friends with Lucy Loose Legs, that's a character that I made up, Luby Lubrea says, what's your favorite school subject, so I, pause for the car, I love learning, when I was in school, I took as many classes as I possibly could, and I was involved in as many clubs as I could possibly be involved in, it was borderline obnoxious, and um, anyway, my favorite school subject uh, at the time when I was in school was math. I loved math. I um, was in a gifted math program. Uh, so we did, you know, advanced level stuff a little bit earlier. And I just, it, it really, I gravitated toward it because I liked all the numbers and I liked um, figuring things out and, and deducting and, and adding, subtracting, multiplying, figuring out you know, what Y, X, and Z are, and um, more algebra than anything. Uh, but it just, everything makes sense in math. Uh, so math would be probably my first. Um, but then I loved anything creative. So um, if I had a chance to be in like a TV production class, I took it, or a chorus class, or um, art class, like anything that I could get crafty and think outside the box, that was also a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. What's you guys' favorite subject? I wanna know. All these questions that I'm asking right now, I want you guys to answer the questions in the comments below to all the questions, any of the questions, your favorite question, because I want to get to know about you guys. I like, I, I talk about myself, but believe it or not, I actually go through and I read all these comments. <laughs> uh, it's usually at midnight when I'm dead tired from the whole day, but, um, but I'd love to hear from you guys. So write in the comments the answers to any and all of these questions, and I'm probably going to put a heart next to it because I'm going to read them. So I love you. Have you seen Jurassic World? <laughs> no, I have not seen Jurassic World. I am, oh my gosh. I love all those movies, but for whatever reason, I have nightmares about T-Rex biting me all the time. It's like, <sighs> like every time. <sighs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> too much, too much. Haven't seen it. Have you all seen Jurassic World? How was it? Should I go? Let me know. 
Somebody, one of my friends told me to get movie pass, and that's like you pay like $10 a month and you get to see unlimited movies. I might have to do that. Is Kiss Me on Spotify, says Burrito Mamai. So uh, I have a song named Kiss Me, and it goes like, um, Kiss me, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. Gotta have that taste, honey. Gotta have that taste, babe. Baby, you taste like a cold winter day with a warm blanket on a swing set when I was young. Jumping before I touch the ground. Spinning in circles round and round as fast as I can. S'mores around a campfire tent. Last day of school, the first day of camp. All right, I'm done. Anyway, that song is not on Spotify yet. It's one of those unpublished ones, but I did put it on my YouTube channel in the first Kiss video, and I made a lyric video so you guys can sing with me. Uh, not yet, but it will be. I love that song so much. Um, it's all about the feelings you get when you have your first kiss with somebody. And it could be like your first kiss with somebody new, not just your first kiss in general. What's your favorite TV show and movie on Netflix? So uh, this is kind of silly, but I recently watched uh, Driving in Cars, Dri Driving in Cars with Comedians Drinking Coffee, or Driving with Coffee, Driving in Cars with Comedians Drinking Coffee. Driving in comedians with cars. You're definitely not driving in comedians with cars. Something like that. And um, basically, Jerry Seinfeld, uh, who's a comedian, gets in the car with all these famous comedians that are from today, from back then, and they just get coffee and they talk about their careers, and it sounds really boring as I'm explaining it. Let me rethink this answer. Although it's really good. I love the show Rise on NBC. That show's really good because it involves singing and feel good. It makes you feel good inspired and I really want to get an audition for that show and be on it oh please let me rise okay these are all just ones that I'm just scrolling through because there's like one two three four five six per thing and I can't do all of them so I'm just seeing which ones are like the most successful. Ooh, Rebecca Rebecca McNeven asks if I had one wish what would it be or if you had one wish what would it be ha okay if I had if I had one wish, it would be to have more wishes. No, just kidding. Can't do that. Not allowed to do that. That's what they say. Can't have more wishes. But if I had one wish in the world, it would be for myself and my family and all the people that I love to forever have financial stability. That sounds like the most boring answer, but in life it can be really difficult to pay your bills, pay your student loans, pay your rent. Pay so my memory cards are pretty much out of space and so therefore I need to end this video right now because it's telling me that uh, it's been too long and I'm gonna be spending way too much time editing this video. So I'm gonna lock and load, get it over with. Uh, there'll be a part two to these questions and uh, I love you. Oh, okay, a couple things that I wanted to uh, shamelessly plug. Um, First, I have a whole merchandise line, and it is awesome, guys. I designed every single thing on there, on the website. It ships uh, all to the United States. Uh, I can try to see if I can do some international shipping, um, but all the stuff is so cute. Like, there's, like, these hoodies, these tank tops. There's, like, little makeup bags, and it's all for go-getters out there that are pursuing their dreams, that are fans of mine, that just want a really cute shirt that's really soft. Purchase them. It would really help support me and uh, support these videos. I really would like to get a green screen behind here and do some crazy videos and bring my characters back. And um, maybe that could help fund the green screen. So uh, support your girl. Be a go-getter. And, um, you know, download my music. However you can help, everything helps. And it is such a joy to be able to produce content for you guys. I love you guys so much and I have a lot of new things in the works coming up and I don't want you to miss out on them. So uh, if you didn't, subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out all my videos, Fly My Way Back Home, Rather Be Dreaming, uh, the First Kiss video, uh, the Impressions video, oh my gosh, you have to see that. I did impressions of like 17 different people and um, it's been a lot of fun. So. Uh, I do this for you. I do it for me because I love it and I do it for you because I think you like it too. So I'm going to keep doing it. Um, and uh, yeah, stay tuned.